This is a picture that I have put on a canvas and it's of orbs and Harry is in this orb. And since this video is going to be about Harry, I just thought I would show you my big picture of him on a canvas. And I'm going to zoom over to here and show you this big thing I made with all kinds of stuff, mostly Mardi Gras beads. And it's on my wall. It's got mirrors in it and everything. But, uh, everybody likes this. I call it my big orb. And I just had fun with it. Now, now I will take you back to the computer where I made a video last night finding Harry. Let me get up a little closer on it and start it playing. I'm not going to have the voice on. I sounded rather silly calling for Harry, but I'm just looking around. And this is the camera that I use. It's my older camera, and it's really got messed up from me having filmed so much light with it until now. It, um, it won't stay in focus. It goes in and out of focus. But this is Harry. I found him. You can see him there in that one orb. It's a good thing you can't hear me talking because I sound like a nutcase. Then I lost him. Go away a little place in the middle of it. There, went away. And then after I lost him, I found him again. It takes a little while before I find him. There he is. He showed up again. He just sort of pops in from below or above or the side. You just never know when he's going to pop into an orb. Now that you see how I find Harry, and there's all, all kinds of other orbs around him, but he'll only be in one of them. Now I'm going to take you over to this other screen, and I will show you some still pictures of Harry. Now, put it on play. Let me back off a little bit. Because of now I'm too close. This is my better camera. Still, I managed to get things crooked in it. Okay, it sticks. We're just going to go from one to the other, but I want to stop it on this one. When I, you can see Harry here, but under him is all this stuff, and I thought it was like attacking him. I worry about Harry sometimes. <laughs> Silly, I know. But uh, I took several pictures of that to see what was going on. Now I will just let it play, and it'll go from one picture of Harry to another. And I probably have some of the very same ones several times, because he looks the same in every one. And so I never remember, have I got this one or not? <laughs> I do have more than a hundred pictures of them, I'm sure. Sometimes the background that Harry's in makes it hard to see Harry. Now I only see Harry when I'm using this one particular camera, which is the older one whose focus is not working right. And 
For a long time I thought Harry was a piece of debris. Well, right now you're seeing some of the residents of Harry's world, these little things going by. They, when I see them, I know I'll be seeing Harry soon. Anyway, now I forgot what I was saying. Some of these pictures are rather old, uh, a couple of years ago. I've been cat capturing Harry in my pictures now for a long time. Oh, and at first I thought, well, he might be debris because I only see him with this one camera, which had lost its lens cover, and I never got a new one for it. And so I know something might have got inside of my camera because I see little things. I'll be showing you some of them later. And uh, so for a long time I thought he was debris. But then, I don't think that now. I don't know why I don't think it. it is logical because I've never seen him with my new camera. But then, my new camera doesn't get some of the kind of uh, pictures that this older camera does. this a little better. I keep showing the top part. So this is to show you many pictures that Harry has managed to show herself up in. Sometimes he's in an orb that's behind other orbs. He's got all these little white body parts that seem to just float around him. They don't seem to be attached to them, but they're always in the same place around them. And these orbs that I take with this camera, they're really strange orbs in that they all have two eyes in the orb. I'll be pointing some of them out to you. I call them two eyes because it's two little dark spots that are pretty close together and they're always pretty much in the same place on the orb. Even if there's several orbs there, they'll be in the same place in the position that they take on the orb. This camera does have what I call artifacts. Someone said, oh, that stuff that's stuck in your camera is called an artifact. So that's what I call them. But I will be pointing some of them out to you and they always pretty much stay in the same place on the page that the picture's on. So it's like they're stuck there, but they are unusual in and of themselves because they don't look like debris, but they look like some of the residents of the orbs themselves. I'll be showing you some close up here in, in a little while. I'm always getting this thing that's in Harry's world. And now this is several orbs, but he's only in one of them. And if you recognize him, you'll see where he is in that top one. Sometimes he's real small. There's that little thing I often get. I call it one of his friends. <laughs> Hi, Harry. 
That, was, that one I used in some video I made. And see, there's this stuff in his world that is real close to him. And uh, it was so close, I thought he was tangled up in it one time. Keep going there. Maybe I'll just do this one to the next. It's easier that way. And there's all kinds of other things, like I found this kind of a ring that's real white uh, in the spectrum of the light that Harry's in. And this, you can't hardly see it, it's glaring. I'll turn the camera some, but that's that little character that I catch a lot in his world. And there's Harry. Sometimes I just say, where are you, Harry, when I'm not seeing him? And he shows up. Although he can fool me. Oh, I can see myself. <laughs> I'm not looking too good today. And uh, I will call for him. And he comes, mostly. Sometimes he won't. Now that was one where he was caught up in a whole bunch of stuff. And I thought, oh dear. I hope you don't have enemies in that world. <laughs> These pictures get real glarish. They look glarish through the camera viewer. Okay, go to the next one. He has that long arm-like thing right there that just protrudes out from him. And sometimes I just see that and not him until I move my camera a little better and get him in. His world is full of all kinds of stuff. Now this is the one I want to show you some of my artifacts. Now what I'm going to do is make it bigger and move it around. have this one real strange one. It's always located at the bottom near the right. And it looks like a double jointed thing. And it's an artifact because it's always there. And with my new camera, I took a picture of an orb that had this in it as well. So I thought, wow, huh. my new camera never gets this thing, but it did that one time. And this little thing right here always appears in the same way. And uh, I call it my little fairy. This one it's not light enough for you to see the wings and things on it. And of course this big long one right here. But when I first started out having artifacts, this one right here that I'm pointing to, that was the only one that I had. But now I have lots of them. These little circles are artifacts. And this one. And up here there's this little thing. You can kind of see it right there and down on the oops I made it go small okay and then one of my newer ones is this one now I don't always see them if if where they show up there's a lot of darkness they won't show up but they're strange looking and they're growing in number I used to have just one or two and now I have hmm maybe eight or nine. I've lost count. There's Harry up real close. There he is again. And again. And he's up high in that one. Now this is the one day that there was so much stuff under him, all that stuff there. I don't, didn't know what it was. I, uh, there's not always stuff around him like that. 
but that day there was a lot of it. So I kept taking pictures trying to figure out what it was. Was he entangled in it? Was it something that was part of him? And this is it real close, some of it. Doesn't show up real good. I don't know what anything is that I see, but here's another view of it. I'm going to go up real close and let you look at that up real close. And see the hairies up there. But you can hardly see them now with it closed in like that. Another one with that. Wow, like a real bright in one spot. There's Harry. Sometimes his background is real colorful, like in this one. And you can see him up there at the top. And there's that bunch of stuff. It's not all around him. It's moved away from him somewhat. There's Harry up real close. There he is. There he is, real little. Another picture with all the stuff around him. There's another one with it. Now, this is just the way this camera does. It puts two eyes in every orb. And I will show you close up. The two eyes are like right there and right there. It's right under an artifact. But look at each one. There's the two eyes. There's two eyes on that one. And even if the orb is in the in the uh, middle of folding, you can still see the two eyes fold with it. There they are in that one. And that is just so strange. I mean. I can understand having artifacts, but if these two eyes are artifacts, how in the world do they place themselves in every orb? Anyway, I call them two eyes. Sometimes they're further apart than they are on these. But you'll notice them in some of my other pictures as well. These show some of their eyes too. Is that the end? It is. Okay, well... We'll get back over to the movie and let it run a little while longer. I'm showing some of the other things that are in his world. And a lot of the threaded light that is really colorful that I can see with the naked eye is in the orbs that I take with this camera. However, with the naked eye, I have never seen Harry with the naked eye. Though I see a lot of things that are in the light, I have never seen him. So it is possible he could be something like a piece of debris in my camera. But if he is, he's really a strange one. <laughs> anyway, this is the Dove Lady. And I'm not going to make you watch this entire thing. So... Over and out for now.